Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the fractured glass problem inside of Houdini. So, let's dive right in. As you may already know, when we fracture glass inside Houdini, the inside faces will cause us some problem. Let me show you. We have a box. Uh, make the box thin, maybe 2 meters high and uh, we're not fracture we scatter and uh, lower the pieces maybe 20 okay then we do assemble we packed it and uh, do dot network inside dot network we need a rbd packed object then a rigid body solver A gravity, a ground plane, merge them together, fetch the first geometry, let's see the results, yeah the result is okay, go outside and uh, only Give me the RBD thing. Okay, that's uh, the result. Now, if we hit render, well, sorry, I haven't enzymed the glass material. I already made one. To be honest, I really did some tests, so, but let's ignore it for now. Mm hmm. Now we want to name it glass. Give me the name. Give me the result. Yeah, as you can already see, that's a problem. The inside faces are already there. They should only appear when the glass hits the ground, right? But uh, they are already there. That's the problem. And then how do we fix that? In the later version of Houdini, we offered us two nodes, which are RBD connected faces and RBD disconnected faces. This one tells the inside faces who is your friend say this one and this one you are friends when you are very uh, very close you should both be blast out but when you are separated uh, you should appear and uh, this one is responsible for uh, blast a blasting asset mm -hmm. let me see when you unpack it first and uh, disconnect them the mode should be delete connected hm. let me see the result you can see the inside faces are blast out so the result should be right but when the ground hits the ground you can see the inside faces appear let's uh, render the readout and see this is the readout the readout seems to be right okay it is right when the glass hits the ground the inside faces appear so let's do more and this time i want to do boolean first i do boolean boolean with a grid uh, move the grid up like this and uh, 
gonna you shatter with a surface I shatter okay this is shatter let's see yeah, the shatter okay mm-hmm shatter is cool okay shatter is okay then we fracture the shatter one Then we do already connected faces and the rest of the stuff. Let's see the readout. As you can see, the readout isn't right. Somehow this readout isn't right. It's all due to the boolean. Why? During my research, I found out the RBD connect the faces thing only works on inside group so the world of fracture gave us inside group but the boolean one didn't in order for them to work we can output primitive group as b inside a and uh, rename it inside and the Warner Fracture says merge with existing groups. So mm -hmm. see this was before before there was no connection at the B inside A group, right? But when we combine them together, yeah, suddenly they're okay. There are constraints inside them, which means the new inside blast, the new inside group is right. So this was supposed to work, but uh, still, it's not right. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, in my last research, this way works. This works. I really don't know why. That's why I came up with uh, my solution. So let me show you. Okay, this is my solution. This is the peak head we have. Uh huh. What the? Yeah, this is the peak head. With the boolean factor. Okay. Move it up two meters high, like before. And uh, the runner factor. Uh, remember. I do inside and this inside. Then we fracture the inside. Let's say, um, let's blast the, well, the inside. Did it not select it? This is the inside. If we select this one and move it, they are separated, right? So, on the inside group, each primitive number was given to the uh, points that they have. S mm, say, there is a prim primitive, and the primitive has three or four, maybe five, six points. They all have the same prim ID. Mm, this is like a uh, connect connectivity thing. You know, the connectivity uh, make a makes a class attribute based on the uh, the point connectivity, right? Then I do assemble blah 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 simulate 
Sing the thing, unpack. Still, this is wrong for now, right? And、uh, we gotta find a way to deal with the inside ones. That's why I used、uh, I extract centroid node, extract centroid node with piece attribute. That way, each one. That that way, each one has the has one, sorry, two points overlaps on each other. Because the faces was exactly overlapping each other, so their central points should overlap too. And、uh, to the centroids, I used the APC open to find two points. As you can see. I name it PT. No, remember this has to be two. If we only do one,、uh, the result will be the self. I show you if we have a box. If we have a box, yeah, we we make a point wrangle. We say, in, oh, I just copied this one. I just copy this one, and、uh, we find two. See, point zero to point four. If we only do one, the point、uh, the point zero will be point two itself. Everyone does that, so the result is wrong, which means we have to use more than one, which is two. So that's why we gotta find two points. The second point is is these points, friend, right? And、uh, after that, we can get his friend's position, and then we can get the length between them by using length、uh, function to define the dist, right? Then we can copy. We can copy the point attribute, which is this, which was defined here, to the inside、uh, primitives based on primid. Oh, not 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 primitives, just the、uh, points. Yeah, based on match by attribute primid, as you can see. Then we blast this is less than a threshold, I should say.、Uh, maybe point two. Yeah, still there is something still wrong. I I'm I'm not saying this、uh, solution is perfect, uh, but uh, it works. It works. One point one. Two. I don't know. Maybe let's try to see the result.、Mm -hmm. Oh, still real poor bug. See this one? It's okay. And then it hits the ground. The problem solved. Let me see the result. The final result. Let's see the is the final result wrong? Is、there anything wrong? Yeah, there is a problem. So let's lower the maybe point one. So this one is okay, but、uh, this seems okay. Seems okay. Really, this seems okay. There is a bug, a little bug. So anyway, this is my way of solving this problem. As you can see, the boolean and the Voronoi fracture were combined. But anyway, the result could be good. 
I hope you found this video useful and uh, thank you for watching.